And welcome back to Dredge, the most boring fishing game ever. <laughs> I'm joking a little bit, but I had to install crab pots in order to get the two crabs. Yeah, they're just random. I got them during the night, so they might only appear during the night. Oh, interesting. This seems to be a very generous amount of loot you get. From just lighting one of these lamps, we just light the one that is closest to the ship. Or to the mobile... Careful now, careful. Mobile repair station. What is in here? Oh, it's just more fish. Okay. <laughs> in this little area, you really, really start to hate how fast you can damage your ship. Yeah, I'll have to play the game again in order to get some of the things I want to get. Which is basically the treasure map and some other things. I don't know, it seems like the game really wants you to play it again, just because of all the mistakes you do in the beginning. Uh, it's a little sad that you cannot get everything in one playthrough just because of those time quests. So there are basically four timed quests in the game. There are also the little details. We need to think about and worry about. Huh, that's a weird one. It's all the way over here. Well, that's a bit of a stretch. Okay, so we need a manta. Well, a pell skate. That's only during the day. What am I supposed to do now that I'm out in the night? Well, I guess we can try to get the other stuff. Probably one of the areas where we need a lot of explosives. I guess we can work on the third one. What kind of a fish? Ah, it's just the same thing. Yeah, they just give you the same fish over and over. I'm just trying to fish uh, as many fish traps as possible so I can maybe get what the third one will be. Seems like the noise would attract the big fish, but hey, what do we know? Hey, <laughs> you cannot see me. Huh. Okay, so I guess you're still. No, not again. If you stay on the volcanic ash, they will not see you. <laughs> it's pretty weird that a fish can scream uh, while being underwater, but okay. 
I don't know, it seems like if this is the entire gameplay loop it's going to be a hard one to replay but I'll do it again and I'll try to do all of the quests in one video because this is not going to work. <laughs> It will be a little boring to do everything again like this, but for the greater good. Oh, malformed fish, really? Oh, so that's all you need for this malformed fish? Well, that's a little bit annoying. the correct spot okay, so that means you have to go back to the second one Well, that's super annoying because you cannot even fish in, fish in peace. So what's even the point of having these things over here if, you can, if it's impossible to get them? Yeah, a lot of mechanics in this game don't make sense. I'm not sure how people gave this game so many positive reviews. Because these little things are borderline making progression impossible. Come on, this is just ridiculous. You're supposed to navigate these small little things. What do you do if there are no volcanic vents? I guess you just have to bring out the fish bait bucket. In order to do the last one. get a lot of rewards for it. Probably a bit too late, we should have all of this by now. Ha, <laughs> I would sound the horn back at that. But I'm in a bit of a curry now, yeah. This one is so easy to avoid, you just have to play the long and tedious game. <laughs> it feels like you're supposed to avoid one million things at the same time. So storage, yeah. Probably I don't need to store the steel anymore, but we'll just put it over here. And let's see how many deformed fish we can get. I mean, we only need two, but you get the idea. Probably I should, yeah, that, that would be a good idea. So 
I only need one. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. One more wood piece and then the ship will be completed. Oh. Actually, no, let's not sell anything. Let's mm. just repair the ship. It should have a new engine, but I, which one is the right engine? Is the engine stack, so it's speed is 67. Uh. How do I go about this? I guess I should move the buckets a little bit. Sell that one. Okay, that works. So now our speed is 109. I'm not sure what it was before, but this should make us super speedy. Okay, so I assume we just need to deform fish for the last one. It's not super clear if it needs to be infected or if it needs to be mutated. I think it needs to be mutated. We'll just go over there and show them. Hey, do you want this mutated fish? And they'll say yes, please. Now that I have the engine, I guess I can get this one. It will be 9.5 as opposed to this one's. 19... Ah, it will be a small improvement. Probably it will be worth it because I don't want to get the pots. I also don't want to get the nets either. Uh, probably I should get the nets because it will... Oh wait, it only catches a specific thing? Yeah, let's just get the smaller engines. I cannot see what the developers were going for, but it's just tedious. TDS. That fish is always in my way. Oh, I forgot to get the last pile of explosives. Ah, okay. This doesn't seem like we're much faster. Seems like we're a bit more maneuverable. Huh, okay. Showing everything back, this time we'll make no. No. I mean, we're not for the environment, we'll be. We're fighting for the planet this time. We're, not, we're just taking the mutated fish out of their environment. I guess we'll keep the prize one. Oh, that was depleted already. Anyway, at least that's how I think it works. I'm trying to get the record ones. Oh, it's the same size. So, 
I think the record one should give you bigger and bigger every time you do it. So that's why I was trying to get the ones out of the way, the smaller ones. But hey, it doesn't seem to work that way. Okay, so let's just get the regular ones. Statistically speaking, we should have caught a deviated fish already. I guess statistics don't matter in this game. That's it. so bad. I guess we just have to try and fish somewhere else, but we don't have any play places to do it yet. Yeah, I'm just going to hit my engine if I keep doing this. about here, Mr. Game. I was just here. thinking the rapture. Only one type of fish and that one is infected. Oh, it's it's exactly what I wanted, even though it's infected. How can... I thought the ab aberrant versions couldn't get infected by whatever that is. Well, technically, sh it should still work. And the waves are making me bouncy. So we have the talisman now, and probably that's it. Wait, what? Where do we install it? It's operational. Uh, okay, yeah, the game just gets more and more annoying. Why can I not seem to take it out of the stone? No. Yeah, you have to do this stupid thing. Okay, let's solve the quest. Maybe it will give me an answer to my little problem. Okay, I'm curious how fast, how fast can we go? Oh, this is like... almost like a torpedo. Ok, 
Okay, we have reached hmm. safety and let's allow all of the fish. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I just have to cover my expenses and that's about it. Find the dog a home, eh? We'll eventually find it, like the statues. Hmm. So we had an, a little entrance somewhere. You see the statue, that's quite impressive. Now what do you say? Do you say thank you? At least thank you? What are you doing? I don't say nothing. Then I broke the dice away. So I have an, an antique pocket watch. I don't have an operational slot on my ship so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put that thing but I guess we'll solve yeah let's solve the pursuit with the relics first of all ah well every time I come over here I remember I have to sell some relics Okay, let's at least see if we can finish the game and then restart, so I, well, I don't know how it works. Pocket watch. Hmm. No, what? I'm ready. Uh, okay, so final part of the game, I guess that operational thing... Hmm. I'm not sure what they want to tell me, they want to tell me the game will be over or they want to tell me I'm just doing the final mission of the game, it's hard to tell. Anyway, it's been a fun game overall, but just the fact that you can fail some quests or if you don't know where to put the dog... Yeah, the demo yeah. was much better because it didn't have a lot of things for you. It didn't yeah. have enough information, but now that I know what the game is like and how the islands are like... Eh. Ah. What's that bell? Why is there a bell? Yeah, I guess I will sell the relics and then I'll end the video and then we'll see what's up next in the next episode. I guess I over farmed. It, the game is super easy if you just do the objectives. So you can, if you do the objectives, the game is super easy. If you want to do the other things, the other activities, you will be... You'll be in trouble. 
you'll be in trouble because you will fail the optional quest because you don't know how to do them. Especially, yeah, the ones with the hooded figures. Okay, that was a weird thing. Still keeping that. That the Bruno is basically worth nothing. Well, I think we're ready for the final part of the game and we'll see that in the next episode. Also, you don't really get a lot of pursuits. I thought the game would be about... would have some kind of a complex progression system, but it doesn't really have it. <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye.